and telling us how there are things that we can do to control these cravings is nutritionist Earl Mendel. Hey, Earl, hey, hey. so glad to meet you. Yes. Well, uh, if you can, if you can wipe these cravings away, you're up for some kind of prize. Okay. Okay. You're talking about some fairly basic addictions and habits. This is true. I'd say 75% of the people in the world are either addicted or habituated to caffeine, alcohol, tobacco, sugar, salt, or all of them. And we'll start with uh, caffeine and coffee. Now, this is an interesting addiction because people feel, you know, they hit a lift. There's no doubt about it. They get an up when they drink coffee, but they also get a down because it produces the sugar and then the insulin causes the sugar to drop. So what you can do, what people don't know, is it also causes a loss of potassium, which makes you tired, etc. So here's the things you can eat to replace the potassium and get you off that mm -hmm. up and down. Well, so, let, let, I, want to, I want to simplify it. Are you saying if you eat a banana and an orange, you will, you will kill your craving for coffee? Well, you'll have more potassium, you see. Will so, it kill your craving for coffee? It won't kill your craving for coffee, but you'll get more of an up, so you won't need the, the caffeine. So it won't kill your craving. You'll just have more potassium. <laughs> you have more, more, but you have more energy, you see. That's <laughs> why people... Are, Steve, get yeah. him. Okay, well, understand what I'm saying. People, <laughs> I know, I get that okay. for it. But people in the morning say they yeah. want to have a cup of coffee to be up. Well, yeah. if they ate foods that are rich in potassium, they wouldn't need the caffeine. Well, so much of it is psychological, though, too. Oh, absolutely. Craving is psychological. Yeah. But, in fact, chemically, there is, you know, a caffeine, like you said, does stimulate. So you, you need to balance that with a natural energizer, like exactly. your, your food. But let me ask you both this question. Yes, How many sir. people do you know ever said, if I don't get a banana, I'm going to jump out of my skin? <laughs> well, the whole, yeah, you're right. But, see, the thing is, once you get addicted to a drug or habituated, then it becomes like a, a never-ending thing. So if you were to get foods that are richer in potassium, you would be up and you so wouldn't you're, need the your chemical. Your craving decreases. Yes, exactly. you're substituting the basic need for something healthy. Very good. And if you know that you're doing that, then perhaps you have a big Very chance good. Right, of making so it. Bananas and oranges. Now, uh, this. tobacco. Right. This is a difficult one because uh, mom, is, dad, everybody, <laughs> sunflower seeds get uh, buy about five pounds of raw shelled unsalted sunflower seeds, and when you have the craving for a cigarette, chew on the sunflower seeds. Earl, people who smoke three packs of cigarettes a day are going to start eating these seeds and stop yes. smoking. Yes, yeah, fill, fill up your ash. <laughs> I'll tell you why because you see, uh, smokers have a higher acid bloodstream than uh -huh. non-smokers. This neutralizes the acidity. It's a good source of B complex and zinc. And it gives your mouth something to do. Well, yeah, it takes care of that oral need, I guess, it's being that's uh, right. by smoking. Moving right on here. Okay. Yes. Ice cream. Now, this is another very difficult one. It's high in fat and high in sugar. There's a new, um, actually, some new uh, research show showing that chromium picolinate. Oh, yeah. You know about that, oh. of course. I had some for breakfast. Right? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you had brewer's yeast, then you're going to try some soon. Yeah. Uh, brewer's yeast is a good source of chromium picolinate, and this seems to help basically make insulin more efficient. So that you don't get the craving for sugar. Is, is that a capsule? I mean, a tablet. It, yeah. it's a, you can feel chromium it. picolinate. Picolinate. Right. Okay. And also, it's a, it's found in brewer's yeast. Yeah. Okay. And the final thing, of course, is chocolates, chaka olives. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. How I many people? Many. Now, why do you think they are addicted to chocolate? Well, it's the phenylalanine or some whatever it is. <laughs> it's very close. Well, it's phenylethylamine. P e Phenylethylamine. What is very, that? Well, that's a substance. It's close enough for a morning talk. <laughs> I think that's very good, Steve. I give you high mark. <laughs> Phenylethylamine is found in high concentrations in the bloodstream of people who are in love. Mm. So that's why, yeah. don't we always give our oh. chocolates to our sweethearts, our mothers? We love chocolate. I give them all bananas now. <laughs> and, it, I know. and it does. And things such as the green leafy vegetables and uh, some of the nuts are good sources of magnesium, which lessens the craving for chocolate. Well, you know, I, I think it's wonderful because, I mean, obviously we don't want to smoke. We don't have so much coffee right. and all of these things. But I've got to be honest with you, Earl. I mean, a bowl of sunflower seeds. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of calories in that, though, no, too. They're, no, these are unsalted. Oh, unsalted. And they're not, they are raw. Well, no, I, if no. I was a smoker, wait, I might go for this. But yeah. I'm not going to drink this instead no, of this having this. This is for Steve. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what, what is, is this. Uh, Tom made it of its brewer's yeast. I Tom have no idea. This? I don't have to eat it. Tom, Tom. are you mad at me today or you like me today? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. This, I think, is brewer's yeast. And I'm not sure. What's the rest of that, What's in it, Tom? Borscht? And cranberry juice will fill you on the top there. I think, I thought, should I start? No, it looks what? good. It's a double area. Wait a minute, let me see. You'll start. never have ice cream. Ah, oh, Steve, this is it. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> get a little of these. You'll never there. have ice cream again. Good, right? Oh, Steve, you're bad. brave. You're brave. <laughs> let me try it. Let me try it. How is it? Have you lost your craving, Steve? The aftertaste is dreadful. The first shot is okay. The aftertaste. <laughs> yeah. You're washing it yeah. pretty bad. It's pretty Wash bad. It down. Pretty bad. Oh, we'll be right back. Thank you, Earl.
birthday. First of all, although this tastes better than God. the drink. Yes. yes. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday to my sister Peggy. Yay. Earl Mandel's <laughs> son, Evan. What do you do with your dad? Well, we hide junk food from We hide junk food from dad. <laughs> Mr. Pete, got bumped today. You'll be yeah. back soon. I better be back soon, yeah. Steve Edwards. All right. Great Mr. Pete, Pete will great. be back soon. Tomorrow on the program. <laughs> Can Joe. we talk? Can we talk? We will with Joan Rivers. And from a different world, actor Kadeem Hardison. Susan Anton will be with us. Tawny, feel good. Stay tuned for the home show, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have bye, a good everybody. day. Limousine and protective services provided by West Coast Detectives, worldwide since 1922, located in North Hollywood. Steve's wardrobe provided by Rick Pallack and Sherman Oaks. Fine menswear with style, service, and value.